Welcome to our headquarters in the Netherlands. The fiber, Dynema, was actually invented just a few meters away from the, where we stand now. After its invention, the leading rope manufacturers have been using Dynema as a core fiber for their mooring ropes. And countless vessels have been using Dynema in their moorings. This video series summarizes the four factors that you have to consider when choosing your mooring rope. Resistance to fatigue, abrasion, creep, and high and low temperatures. It also shows differences between the Dyneema SK78 and generic HMPE. The third factor to consider when choosing a mooring line is its resistance to creep. Creep is permanent, irreversible elongation over time and is especially of importance in applications that require specific length tolerances over a long period of time. For mooring, that is much less of an issue. So, why address it? Well, in the industry, a lot is assumed and not understood on creep and creep behavior of HMPE fiber. I will give you more insights for a better understanding and take away any doubts that you might have. For starters, Every material creeps. Just think of these beautiful stained glass windows in churches. If you have a closer look, the top part is much thinner than the lower part of the window. That is creep on a very, very long time scale. But back to present times. From the moment we introduce Dyneema, we also address its creep properties. Because we believe creep is nothing to be afraid of, but needs to be understood. We have introduced several grades with improved creep performance, like SK78 and DM20. And we can do so because our supply chain is backward integrated with control over our manufacturing process and the feedstock. Dynema is a polyethylene, but a very special one. It is an ultra high molecular weight polyethylene, and being a polyethylene, it shows viscoelastic behavior. And that means that the properties depend on variables such as temperature, time, and loading history. One characteristic is that the fiber is sensitive to long-term static loads and will elongate proportionally with time. This phenomenon is generally known as creep. That process is irreversible. The amount of creep of HMPE fibers is influenced by the ambient temperature the applied load, the time, and the type of HMPE fiber. Very high loads or a high temperature will accelerate creep. In practice, however, we hardly see failures because of creep. And typically mooring lines are discarded well before their time because of, for instance, wear, fatigue, or other damages to the line. To understand creep, we made a lot of investments in test equipment, researching all relevant parameters. We also joined forces with reputed institutes and universities. This has resulted in a number of internationally recognized papers and our performance model that enables us to predict creep lifetime. The core equations that we use in that model are accredited by DMV. Essentially, Creep is nothing more than molecules starting to slide along each other when they are exposed to a static load. But how does this look like? Well, let's have a look at this graph. It shows the logarithmic creep rate of an HMPE fiber. And as you can see, we can distinguish three regimes. Regime one, the fiber acts like an elastic band. It elongates when it is tensioned and it returns to its original length when the load is taken off. That process is reversible, and it's fast. Think of days. In regime two, we see that the fibers start to deform. In fact, looking into a rope, the rope becomes a bit longer because of the molecules that start sliding. This part, which is irreversible, we have modeled in our performance tool and is used to predict creep lifetime. This process can last from a few months up to hundreds of years, depending on the HMPE type used. And then the last part of the graph shows regime 3. Here, the molecules start to break. 
the rope will fail due to creep rupture. For you as a user, it is important to know when to timely discard the rope so before creep rupture kicks in. Obviously, that is before entering regime 3. And we can help determining the proper discard time by using our performance model. For lifetime predictions, we use rope data combined with relevant field data like temperature, load conditions, and time frames. When we introduced SK75 for mooring back in the 90s, it turned out to be a great success. But with the introduction of larger vessels, more exposed ports, changing trading routes, we recognized the need to design a new fiber that would better meet the demands of these evolving needs of the maritime sector. Because we are the only backward integrated HMPE fiber manufacturer, we can tweak the molecules and engineer the fibers with special features. And that is exactly what we have done with Dyneema SK78. The major difference to SK75 is the fact that SK78 has built-in molecular anchors that prevent the molecules from sliding along each other when they are exposed to a load. This will give SK78 much better creep performance. Compared to other generic HMPE, both SK75 and SK78 have longer molecular chains. This also is beneficial for creep performance. The key takeaway is that creep can be used as a design tool to optimize rope. Through optimization, you can safely use our ropes longer and expose it to harsher conditions, without the fear of premature failure. It goes without saying that SK78 can be used in any location globally. Be it in the bitter cold of the Arctic or in the blazing heat of the Middle East. You do not need to worry about your rope's creep performance. It shows that the rope with SK78 has a superior service life and the highest reliability over generic HMPE. The longer service life means that over the lifetime of your vessel, you will be using fewer materials, less resources for your mooring ropes. Dyneema fiber is made using 100% renewable electricity. If you want to further reduce your carbon footprint, you can choose the bio-based alternative Dyneema fiber. And last but not least, we have established an industry coalition with our major rope manufacturers to develop a closed-group recycling route for Dyneema fiber.